anyway moving on so i'm sure most of you guys are, are aware of this story here in the uk about a tv presenter called philip schofield having to step down from his role at itv a tv channel we have here in the uk because of his affair with a very much with a much younger man um at the same tv station right and it's been a really crazy story to kind of you know watch from afar because essentially philip schofield is a bit of a household name he's one of the co-hosts on this morning which is a really popular morning show here in the uk most mostly for mums and unemployed folks because it comes on you know during i think what it's this morning so it's any time between 6 a.m to 12 i guess so most people are at work around those times but it's a really popular show um you know they do cooking stuff they have segments on news they interview people it's just a typical show that you'd imagine your mum or your aunties or your aunties would be watching and stuff right so it kind of is what it is and people like it for what they like it and and the chemistry between Philip Schofield and his co-host um, Willie Bolly something whatever her name is um, is really fun really cool and they've kind of had a lot of kind of viral giggly moments anyway the funny thing about this for me more so about this is that obviously it kind of paints Philip Schofield terribly because the affair with this younger man at ITV was you know has been it's been rumored that the when they first met he was 15 so even if they weren't you know romantically involved when he was that age there is an aspect to it that looks like grooming where maybe you know he waited until the, the kid was illegal then they got into an actual relationship or whatever maybe sexual in that way in the same way that dude 16 has been accused of doing his thing right where he kind of met this girl when she was 18 and when she was 21 that's when they got a relationship so it's not technically you know pedo shit but it's definitely on the cusp of it and it's definitely sus uh, it's definitely something that you look at your friend like with a side eye the thing for me that's fascinating about this story the thing that's fascinating for me is the aspect or the idea or the potential that you could have two pedos in one family don't you find that really interesting and i've never seen that before in my life number one i think it's probably the chances and the percentile of two brothers in one family being gay is definitely super super you know low right in terms of that i'd imagine so it's probably it's probably not likely that you're going to get two siblings in one family especially the same sex who happen to be gay but then to have two siblings from the same family who are gay and who are also into yeah kids that's also a bit wild i don't think i've seen that ever that's a really crazy part and if you're wondering what i'm talking about philip Schofield's brother only a few months ago actually not a few months ago it felt like a few months ago in may of this year right was jailed for child abuse. Philip Schofield's brother, Timothy, was jailed of child abuse in the 19th of May. Can you imagine that? So, Philip Schofield gets done for essentially having an affair with a much younger man at ITV, which I think is against the rules. I think most broadcasting companies with their host, they don't really allow you to have like, even like consensual adult relationships where you're both single or whatever coming into it. I don't think that's usually allowed. They usually, you know, um, uh, they usually go against that and I think anybody that's worked in a workplace especially in a bar or a restaurant mostly where you're contacting people where you're, con where you're in contact or with your you know fellow colleagues a lot on the, sh on the floor bar floor shop floor you would know it is or it is kind of annoying when two people start hooking up in the same workplace especially if they're actually in a relationship it is a bit annoying when they're fucking it can be a little bit whatever funny but when two people are actually in a relationship at workplace it can be annoying so i could definitely understand if you're a corporation broadcasting company it's probably not the best in terms of morale and professionalism and just you know vibes to have people kind of hooking up all over the place you, you probably have to put it in writing and contracts that hey this is not allowed um with, with some very you know with some exceptions here and there but all of this is not allowed but the thing that makes this interesting, if I'm not mistaken, the whole premise of this is that he steps down, but this comes out, right? And then he also then reveals when it comes out that he's gay. So that's what makes it extra sussy, that he led a life as a, a, a supposedly a straight man when secretly he's gay. But then when he does come out, he only comes out because he's been exposed or maybe being blackmailed behind the scenes, who knows? Then it comes out he had to quit and get fired because of this affair he had with a much younger man. So imagine all those fucking things going on around your head um, when, as you're, if you're Philip or someone in his family. And then on top of that, imagine the fact that his brother just recently got done for child abuse. That's a really crazy thing about it, that you have two brothers in one family who are both technically pedos. That's pretty wild. But the people that I feel the worst for are definitely the family. 
his family sorry right his wife and his two daughters like can you imagine how that must feel the whirlwind of emotions they must be going through to number one find out that supposedly their dad is cheating on their mum right and they're going through some issues they're going through as parents do adult shit that as a kid you can't really get involved in it but you're disappointed in your dad you're maybe pissed off at how your mom is reacting to it it's just going to cause all the issues you're thinking are oh, they going to get divorced you don't want that da, 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 da. you may be siding with one person siding with the other all the issues are going on then you find out along the way that it wasn't just like an affair conventional one it was with a much younger man so it definitely answer, lifts up all sorts of questions regarding your dad's sexuality then he comes out and admits that he's actually gay so what has your, his relationship with your mum been this whole entire time? And then, of course, you're obviously thinking about your fucking uncle who recently just got done for being a pedo. Can you imagine what that must do? And this is something I don't think that gets highlighted enough in these sort of stories. The damage it causes for the families involved. Like, think about the victim involved in this kind of a little bit, right? The, the kid who's, I think, in his 20s or something. His family also the parents are probably going to be judged by other parents. How do you allow Philip Schofield to be around you? It wasn't clear that he was a nonce because, you know, ITV maybe protected it and knew about it. It was like a, one of the worst kept secrets around town, blah, blah, blah. That's the damaging part of it. I think about like The people around it have to kind of suffer the consequence of it because I'm sure along the way, Philip Schofield is going to come out and try and paint himself as the hero and try and, you know, fly the flag of LGBTQ plus people and be like he's living his life free and he was going to make himself into a he's gonna have a cover on Van Vanity Fair talking about his sexuality he's gonna try and spin this some way right in some ridiculous you know horrible crass way in effort to kind of make himself look like the hero in this story or look like the victim in this story but the real victims are the family who had absolutely nothing to do with it and are now by proxy being dealt a horrible hand I'm sure the mentions of these young girls are fucking awful the comments are disgusting probably they probably deleted any social media they already have imagine what the mum's going through having to figure out the wife's so having to figure out to get around the idea of like your love of your life the person you want to spend all life with has been living a secret life they've been secretly gay and i think most women from what i've heard speaking to women you know here and there and whatnot about certain things one of the worst nightmares that most women always have is you know their husband coming home to them and telling them not only that they're breaking up with them but that they you know that they've always been gay like that is a horrible you know thing to kind of deal with at the best of times imagine happening like this absolutely heinous so philip scope is out here stepping down from itv clearly admitting the affair let's quickly read this article here oh it's not articles on news clipping but whatever you can get the idea of what that is about there and of course the news there courtesy of the brothers of let's play a little bit actually of the sky news clip here see what they're saying we have some breaking news to bring you and that is about philip schofield the former presenter of itv's this morning program because this evening he has quit the broadcaster and that follows further allegations about his private life he has released a statement this evening he's released it to the daily mail and in it he admitted having a relationship with a younger man while he was still married um, before he came out so let me read that statement to you so that's probably one of the worst things ever that he released a statement via the fucking daily mail that obviously proves that there's or there's that's obviously some indication that there's probably more to this story than meets the eye maybe there's more to the kid or to young man that he was kind of involved with maybe there's other people that he maybe have done things with that are going to also come out of the woodwork but this is a very preemptive let me get my narrative out let me also go to the most toxic of platforms in daily mail who are probably willing to put whatever they want on there and kind of get them in my favor or get them under my good graces like there's some level of damage control there um, that definitely isn't a good sign but the optics of it are horrible isn't it like you know you come out then you like you know you come out but then it comes out that you come out because of this it's like oof. you're having a look at it now i did have a consensual on-off relationship with a younger male colleague at this morning <laughs> contrary to speculation <laughs> Whilst I met the man when he was a teenager Jesus and was asked Christ. to help him to get into television, it was only after he started to work on the show that it became more than just a friendship. Imagine using that as an excuse. I know I only met him as a kid, but we only fucked when he was an adult. It's like, sometimes I wonder with some people, man, the lack of shame and embarrassment and just 
I don't know, willingness to just admit fault and just say, hey, I fucked up there. It's just insane. Like, it's insane. That's why sometimes I think some people at their core are just corrupted, like corrupted to their core. Their moral compass is just all over the shop. So there is no saving them. It just is what it is. But Jesus Christ, what a defense. That relationship was unwise, but not illegal. It is now <laughs> over. Mr. Schofield goes on to say that in an effort to protect my ex-colleague, I haven't been truthful about the relationship, but my recent unrelated departure from this morning fueled speculation and raised questions which have been impacting him. So for his sake, it is important. So hold on. So he's basically saying he didn't quit this morning because he, ha he was having an affair with this younger man. He quit it for some other reasons. What are the other reasons, bro? What are the other reasons? What could the other reasons be? What what other reason could there to be to quit one of the most successful morning shows in UK history? Something that probably made him a millionaire, I would assume, twice, three times, five times, whatever, over. Something that probably was able to create a pathway for his kids to get into TV too. Family and friends, right? The fact that he's got so much good work over there in ITV, maybe he got his hands in other pies. And he quits it out of the blue. Why would you quit that? That's like a job for life. That's a job literally you can do until you're old and grey. He's already old and grey, but you can do that forever and ever and ever. It's not a job that kind of requires you to be young and sprightly. So the fact that you quit it would, would, would raise alarm bells, especially when you see on screen that the chemistry between him and the willy bolly woman isn't what it was at one point. So people start asking questions. For me, to be honest... I am painfully conscious that I have lied to my employers at ITV, to my colleagues and friends, to my agents, to the media, and therefore the public, and most importantly of all, to my family. I am- Oh, you finally, I was about to say, in this whole entire statement, you know what's funny about this, this whole entire statement? He speaks about the kid, the little twink that he's been hooking up with at ITV. He speaks about the twink more than he speaks about his own family. That is a really big indictment. I bet you any money, if he was to sit down his daughters and his wife and actually speak candidly to them about their dad, about their husband, and actually ask, you know, what he's like as a human being, I bet you the, the word narcissist would come out a few times. Sociopath would come out a few times. Self-absorbed would come out. I don't remember, he's a TV presenter, but there's definitely something that would come out about his personality because to, read, to put that entire statement out and to not be thinking about your family, how that's impacted them, the embarrassment, the shame, the abuse they're getting online now with the trolls and shit, to not have them be at the front of your mind in every statement and just mention the twink first. I'm so very, very sorry, as I am for having been unfaithful to my wife. I have therefore decided to step down from the British Soap Awards, my last public commitment, and I am resigning from ITV with immediate effect. Expre oh, really, dude? You're resigning. Cool, man. Expressing my immense gratitude to them for all the amazing opportunities that they have given me. So that is the latest from Philip Schofield this evening. He said that he is stepping down from hosting the British Soap Awards. That was meant to be his last commitment. And he said he's resigning from ITV with immediate effect. And he's given this statement that i was just reading to you it it's funny though isn't it because for the longest time people have always suspected that he was gay anyway but you know in england we have a history of like male tv presenters and just people in entertainment in general who are very kind of campy and have a particular kind of way they kind of you know act and stuff that typically people would think is gay but isn't it's just be like a fear kid type of energy so people just leave people alone and mind their business it's kind of different to america i think i think in america you'd be digging into it a little bit more so maybe people just had their suspicions but didn't really care you know it is what it is let him live his life but then it finally does come out and it's like okay we're not surprised but then when it does come out in this way it's like fucking hell so what itv were covering his back and keeping it secret because they didn't want to you know let go of their fucking um cash cow um whatever it may be maybe put in that kid the twink in harm's way as well by covering philip Schofield's back like an open secret in the industry his family and friends and other fucking um colleagues in the industry protecting his back it's just so weird it's so weird man and the amount like the amount of grooming 
and abuse and fondness for young people and young kids and whatever that occurs in the entertainment industry is for me one of the most interesting and scary things about that scene because you'd think if you are a notable figure in the entertainment world especially if you're you know entertainment world sorry and especially if you're single or whatnot there's enough fans out there that you can smash <laughs> <laughs> now of age who like you a lot that you, there would be no end to it but you specifically go for the underage ones that for me has always been the really interesting part of it. and this has been something that's been happening in hollywood since the fucking 20s and shit right in the entertainment industry like from broadway to whatever right it's in the theater industry tv movies it's just a thing that kind of runs through the history of time rape abuse um harassment uh you know pedophile shit like people living in a closet like it's always been a thing that kind of runs concurrent but there's been this thing of like you know much older people liking really really young people um to the point people start thinking it's like hey are you a pedo or you're a creep i don't really know is it grooming or are you just really interested in young people only i don't really know but bloody hell man um I, like i said before the thing that blows my mind more so about this whole story still is the fact that there's two gay brothers in one family, which I think is rare. I'm just speaking out of us, man. I don't know if that's true, but I'd imagine to have two brothers in one family and have two of them be gay, that's really rare. And also to have two brothers in one family and have both of them be pedos, I think is ultra rare also. Like, I can't imagine that to be a common thing. But if, if people do know any more stories about like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to kind of see more, to be fair. But,